It's a system for organizing work tasks. Is it a way to feel connected? Is it a way to help us meet each other in meetings? Is it a way to have meetings for the sake of having meetings? Because that's when we learn news. And not only do we learn news, that's when we can feel connected to each other. No, that's not its purpose. Its purpose is to organize the work tasks in our particular committee, which we call circles. And it has some side benefits, we might say unintended consequences, because we do tend to feel more connected. And we do hear the news. But that's not what it's for. So what three things is it? It's a governance structure. And would you please write this down in some part of your uh, blank paper? It's also a decision-making method. Hey, everybody, is decision-making governance? It's a, part of it. it's a part of it, right. Is governance decision-making? No, it's bigger than that. So we're going to learn the governance structure, the decision-making process, and four other meeting processes. And it's feedback loops. Governance structure, decision making, feedback loops. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK. Now we know the three values and the purpose, but we also need to know the, um, another purpose. Is there more than one purpose? Kind of, yeah. Harmonious organizations. When Gerard Indenberg in the Netherlands created sociocracy in the 1970s, that is to say, the specific application of sociocracy, which he called the sociocratic circle method in Dutch, um, he noted that there were three values. And the whole purpose of it was to create harmonious organizations. One of the values was equivalence. Does that mean we're all equal in this electric company, which is the company he owned? No, it means that we have equivalence of voice in our circle, committee, department, about policies that we are using to create um, how we do our work. Because we're organizing our work tasks and our projects, and we have equivalence of voice in how we do that in our circle. If you have questions, surely they will be answered in the next 10 minutes. And transparency is another value. We want everybody to know everything in this company, in this food co-op, in this member-led group, in this intentional community. We can read it in the minutes. We can hear it from a representative in our circle. And we can also talk to each other and just tell each other, there's no secrets. How much money do we have? We know. How do we spend our money? We know. How much money do we owe? Do we have any financial problems currently? We all know. Nothing is sec sacred. Secret. Well, everything is sacred and nothing is secret. OK, effectiveness. We get the job done. We function well. We are effective in accomplishing our goals. So one of the things that we're doing is organizing work tasks and projects. Another thing, is, which is bigger, is harmonious organizations. I have a sociocracy trainer friend named Jerry Koch Gonzalez. He lives at Pioneer Valley Co-housing in Amherst, Massachusetts, where they use sociocracy, and they're really happy with it. And he says, the purpose is no one ignored. And I'm thinking, well, that's a result. But I don't think of it as a purpose. Nevertheless, to share what Jerry says, I'd like you to know that. No one is ignored in a circle because we have equivalence of voice on organizing how we organize the work tasks of our circle. If we are in a traditional business, which is what sociocracy was created for, and we have top-down hierarchical management, I, the person making the widgets on the factory floor in our widget-making company, can have a good idea for how we could make them better with less uh, danger to the workers with um, less money that we're spending with uh, more satisfaction in the job. And I can be ignored by my supervisor and the supervisor's manager and the manager's boss and the board of directors. I can be completely ignored. Hello, I have this better way of making widgets. Be quiet and go back to work. So one of the reasons sociocracy was created so that wouldn't happen. 
because who knows better about widget, widget making than me and our widget makers here and you bosses in the widget company. You don't even know what we know because we make them every day, don't we? I mean, we know stuff, right? Okay, so that's a little bit about what that means. But intentional communities, what I would like to focus on is organizing workshops and doing it, I mean, <laughs> work tasks and doing it effectively. 